Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. This video will be about image views, which are simply used to display images. And I will show you how we can show an image from our app resources in the image view and change it programmatically. So we can simply drag in an image into our drawable folder and use it directly for the image view. But first of all, I want to create that image view. So let's go into that text tab here and create a new tag here with an image view. I will set the width to match parent and the height to 400 dp. And then we can simply close that tag off, go back to the design tab and set the constraints for that image view. So let's click on it, click on the icon with the two bars here and click on horizontally in parent and another time and constrain it vertically in parent too. So our image view is centered. And as you can see, there is no image in our image view for now because we haven't set one. To actually show an image now from your file system, you need to go to your folder where your image is and then simply copy that image. So just click Ctrl and C on that image and then go to Android Studio into your app folder, res and drawable. This is the folder where you will put all your image resources that we will need for your application and then simply hit Control and V and press OK. And another time and there's your image. And if you now want to use that image for this particular image view, then go back to the text tab here and add the attribute SRC, which stands for source. So we declare the source image for that image view with this attrib attribute and there's our image. Um, in my case, it's at drawable Kermit. Let's use that. In your case, it's of, it's of course your file name of that image. And if we now take a look in that design tab, then you can see here's our cool image. And as you can see, if we hold onto that image, the actual image is um, not as high as our image view is. So here's a little bit of right space on the top and on the bottom. And with image views, we have several possibilities to scale that image so it fits into that image view for our needs. And next, I want to go through all of those scale types to show you which possibilities we have here with image views. So let's go back to the text tab here and add another attribute, which is the scale type. And here you can see we have several possibilities to scale our image or to align it differently. And first I want to start with center. The center scale type will just center the image in the view, but it won't perform any scaling. So if we go back to the design tab, you see now it just um, basically zooms in on the image, but it does not scale it. And this is of course not what we want here, but in some cases this might be the scale type that you want to have. The next scale type is center crop which is used very often and center crop will basically scale the image so that it keeps its proportions but still fits out the whole image view. So let's take a look in the design tab and as you can see it will still fill out the whole image view but you can now um, much more see what is actually visible on the image. So with center crop Android Studio will just take the image view um, scale it as high as our image view is and simply crop the two sides that would overlap our image view. The next scale type is similar to center crop which is center inside um, but with the difference that it will al always look for showing that image completely in that image view so that everything is visible. If we take a look in the design tab then you can see it's basically uh, it looks like what we had initially and in this time it will just look it will take the image dimensions and scale it so that the width of that image perfectly fits that image view and if the height does not fit then it will simply crop that part off. Then we have fit center which is the default scale type and that will just look the same as we had it with center inside. So it will just center the image in the image view so that this white space is exactly as high as this white space. And yeah, if, we, if you don't explicitly define a scale type for the image view, then the scale type will be 
fit center. Then we have fit start, which will align the image to the top. So in this case, we have all the white space on the bottom and the image view will be directly on the top. Then of course there is fit end, which will do the opposite. So the image view will move to the bottom of our whole image view. So the actual image will move to the bottom of our whole image view. And then we have fit XY, which will scale our image, but it won't keep the proportions. So it will fill the whole image view, but the proportions are lost and the image view is distorted. And finally, the last scale type is matrix, which is not important for us. This is just if you want to um, use a custom matrix to scale the image. I will set it back to center crop again, because this is the scale type I like the most for this case. And every time you have an image view with the layout width to match parent or the layout height to match parent, then you should play around with the scale types and choose the one you like the most. You also have another option, which is just to set the width and the height to a fixed dp amount, which matches the proportions of your image. So let's say you have an image which proportions are 16 to 9. Then you could go ahead and use, for example, 160 dp and 90 dp. And then, of course, this will keep its proportions and you don't need to scale it. If you want this to be larger, then you can, of course, double this to 320 dp and 180 dp. And then it will also keep its proportions and is um, larger than we had it before. But in this example, I will also revert those changes to what I had before, like this. And now I want to show you how we can actually set that image to an image view programmatically so that we click on a button, for example, and then set the image to the image view. For that, we need to um, give the image view an ID. So let's write ID, add plus ID, and I'll call it IV for image view image. And I will also remove the SRC here. So our image that our image view is empty again, so we can add the image on the button click. So let's add a button here. I will set the layout width to wrap content and the height to. And the text of that button is add image. And I'll set the ID, add plus ID again, to button add image. And then th simply close that tag, go to the design tab. And as you can see, our image view is still here, but we removed the image, so it's not visible. And here we have our button. We can constrain the top of that button to the bottom of that image view. And click on the two bars again and constrain the button horizontally in parent. Then we can go to our main activity.kt file because now we want to add an onclick listener to that button and set the image programmatically. Go in your onCreate function and write button add image. Make sure Android Studio imports that line here. Write dot set onclick listener. And inside of those curly brackets, we now want to set that image to the image view. Our image view is called IV image. And then we have a function set image resource. And with that function, we can set the image to our image view using a resource from our drawable folder. And now you can see we need to provide a res ID. So the ID of our drawable image and we get that by writing a capital R for resources dot drawable dot and in my case it's here Kermit. And if we now run our app, then you can see our empty screen here with our button with add image. And if we click on that button, then the image gets set to our image view like we wanted to have it. And that's everything important for now about image views. I hope this was helpful for you. If so, please leave a like and comment below. 
Also, if you have any questions, then don't mind asking them in the comments so I can answer them. Have a good day. See you in the next video. Bye bye.